everyone. I'm hiding behind that screen you can see. It says YouTube Live starting soon. Look, see? Hello. Here I am. It was a clever bit of shindiggery that I was doing there. Hiding. But uh, I'm not hiding anymore. Here I am. And uh, in a different part of my studio today than I was yesterday because of the uh, issues I had with my tech yesterday. So I'm a big pain in the bottom. However, I've, uh, I've figured out how I'm going to do it today. Uh, it's not going to be um, the same as yesterday. I won't be holding up a board. I am actually going to be drawing flat on a table, but I'm just going to be taking you with me. So uh, my name is Jules, by the way. If you uh, follow me on YouTube, then uh, you'll know that I make videos on drawing and publishing children's books because I'm a children's book author and illustrator. And I, for the last two years, I've also been making bullet journal videos. So I've got a playlist all about that as well if you're interested in bullet journals. But mostly um, my brain power is taken up by uh, what I'm going to draw next. So I thought being as there are a lot of kind of stressful things going on in the world at the moment. Um, in the US obviously there's the election stuff going on that's kind of and it, uh, going on and on that's really stressful for people and um, in the UK we've just gone into our second lockdown as have various other places in Europe so that's kind of getting people down I think. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I thought we'd do is to take our minds off of it um, and just to kind of give, your, give yourself a bit of a breather we're just going to do a little bit of drawing. Yesterday we did a cute doggy and I'll just show you very quickly well this was the sketch I did before I um, did the tutorial yesterday the actual picture that we ended up with I'm going to be um, putting them uh, on my website haven't done it yet that's my plan for today is to get them up on my website so if you want to download what we do today or yesterday then you can as for Saturday and Sunday I'm going to be doing this again at three o'clock in the afternoon so that's um, a bit easier for people who are west of the UK because it's not the middle of the night um, and uh, I haven't really got a plan yet and I did ask yesterday what people are suggesting so I'm all ears uh, for what you want so do let me know I did put a little poll up yesterday as, as um, suggestions for things and um, who knows let's see what what comes up um, hi JV and hi Emmy how are you both today um, I've got some hellos to do as well for other people who joined us yesterday. I want to say hello to Billy, Lara, Tulip, Christopher, Nicole, Visionary Art, Bill, Terry, Sarah, Sharon and Popo Tray. So hello to all of you. Thanks very much for sending me messages of support and, uh, and uh, ideas about what you want. I'm really pleased to have you uh, there listening and drawing along with me. So we uh, that's what we're going to do today so the other thing I just wanted to ask you before we start is what is your plan for today so yesterday's plan for me was I was going to clear my kitchen well that didn't happen because I was trying to figure out how to um, plug in my camera and uh, get a really good view of what I'm drawing so actually what I'm going to do is move the webcam so if you get seasickness then just hold on for a minute, look out at the horizon, and uh, I'll take you with me. And we're going to look at the bit of paper that we're going to draw at. Draw on, rather. Hopefully you can still hear me okay. So there's our bit of paper. It's also very confusing because actually everything is mirrored. And I'm sure there's a way around it, but I haven't quite figured it yet. So what we're going to be using today is some colouring pencils. I've got a soft pencil, this is a 9B, and I've also got one of these Staedtler pigment liners, this is a 0 
but quite frankly if you haven't got one of these but you have got a biro or, or a um, ballpoint pen or something like that that is just as good and we're going to be drawing some flowers so this is very um, kind of not not very realistic but great for if you want to have a birthday card or something like that for somebody so I'm just going to first of all just going to map out a few very basic shapes I'm only going to do maybe maybe three bigger ones and then we're going to have some this is going to be grass and then we'll also have some little flowers like this so if you've got a pencil and a bit of paper you can draw this or you can watch the, the playback and then before I go on much further hoping that it's clear before we go on much further I'm going to colour it and I'm using some different blues and some oranges because we're at that time of year now so I'm going to start with a my palest this is a sort of bluey greeny turquoisey colour if you're into your noises that make you go all funny and uh, quivery then uh, maybe this is for you but you might be the sort of person who hates the sound of pencils on paper so you're going to have to plug your ears up and then I'm going to take a slightly darker colour and just do very lightly around the edges so then we're going to be losing that pencil line it just gives a bit of definition and, and uh, sort of shadow like that and then the darker blue still just around the bottom and these are actually water soluble pencils so you can use a bit of water or a bit of solvent or something with these to blend them but I'm just going to leave it like this because not everybody has that sort of capacity right now I'm going to take my pigment liner and I'm going to draw around the edge now I don't know if you can see I haven't stuck to where where I've um, coloured it I've gone slightly over so you get this slightly offset sort of feel to it as if it's been printed slightly incorrectly but I quite like that it gives it that old school kind of poster almost feel to it and then above these lines I'm going to draw some little circles and these represent the pollen specks okie dokie now let's have an orange use that paler orange and I'm going to do these little flowers down the bottom in this orange and really do the same sort of technique start off with the pale one go slightly darker make sure your pencils are really sharp by the way because it does make a difference and to keep them sharp what you do is you roll roll the pencil like this as you're drawing it drawing with it and then the darker darkest which is red like that so here we have the beginnings of it and I'm just going to go back to my pen again JV says I don't know if you're well, male or female JV but you say that you are currently well want to write or illustrate 
a children's book and you're currently do doodling birds every day. Well, I, last year I was doing lots of bird doodling as well and I got a little bit obsessed about going out and looking at birds and I'm lucky enough that I found somebody who knows a lot actually about um, well he's, a, he's an ornithologist and a conservationist and he's worked for the RSPB which is the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds in the UK he's a very big charity organisation and uh, we've become really good friends and so I've, I've been very lucky that we, when we go out for walks he knows what we're looking at we've got all sorts of things that I didn't realise we had on the Isle of Wight where I live and recently we've uh, been given some sea eagles white, tail white tailed eagles which have been roosting, nesting over on the um, north coast of the island but they've been tracked as well they go up to Scotland and over to Northern Europe and come back for their holidays to the island okay now I am going to do slight, something slightly different on this one again I'm going to be slightly offset like that, but I'm going to do something a bit more decorative inside the squirrely bits. You can get different thicknesses of these pens and I use Stadler uh, but a lot of people use the Pigma fine liners and you get different um, sizes. You can get um, 0.05 I think is the smallest up to 1.0 I think it is which is pretty thick. So just using that one isn't sharp enough. Just using uh, different colours, but the same method. Starting with light and going darker and darker. And with when you're using colouring pencils, you don't really need to press hard. You you need to put lots of layers rather than pressing hard on it. This, I really recommend that uh, drawing is a good way for just chilling out and, and not when you're worrying about stuff because um, uh, it, it just sort of stops you from thinking about all of those other things. Well, it certainly does me. I think maybe some people get that when they're doing reading or going to the gym or you know, doing something that just takes their mind off of whatever else is going on in the world. And you know, there's this the old saying about how I can't remember exactly what how the saying goes actually, but it's to do with having control over things. And there are things that you can control and do something about, and then there are things that you can't. No matter what you do or who you are, there are some things that you just cannot control. So just do something about things you can control. And uh, I quite like being able to have a control over what I'm drawing. But even when you're drawing something, even when you're doing something artistic, sometimes it does go in a different direction to what you thought it was going to go in. And that's part of the fun of it. I really like using watercolours for that exact reason. You're never quite sure what's going to happen with watercolour paint or where it's going to end up. So this one is going to be um, like the flowers that you get from onions. I can't remember the name of them now, but they, they have these big balls of usually purple flowers and these tiny little flowers make up that enormous ball it kind of looks like a big 
all the fluff, but actually it's tiny little flowers. So that's one of those. And I was really lucky this year, I had a sunflower seed that was sown by the birds when they came and took some sunflowers from my table, bird table, last winter. And uh, there was one little escapee that made it down to the ground and started to grow. And so instead of clearing it away, I thought, I think I'm going to leave that there and see what happens. And it grew into the most enormous sunflower and was absolutely amazing. I think I put photos of it on my Instagram feed if you want to scroll back to about uh, May time. And it was really a surprise and so certainly something that I hadn't anticipated was going to happen. Um, and uh, I saved the, the sunflower seeds for the bird to feed the birds in the winter. And I um, saved, also saved the the actual sort of husk of the stem, which is really thick, really, really thick, because it's hollow inside. And I thought, well, that would probably be quite a good place for insects to go and hide during the winter. Okey doke. Right, so we have leaves on those little flowers. We'll give these a little bit of yellow in the middle there. And then we need to put some where the, these pollen bits are. What colour do you think we would have? I'm wondering. Hello, Kellas. Is that right? Did I say that right? Kellas? Kellas? And hello, Nicole. Nice to see you. I would like you to vote on what colour I'm going to use for the pollen. What colour would you like me to use for the pollen? Could you say in the chat please and then I will colour those in. But in the meantime, whilst I'm waiting for you to do that, I'm going to do the grass. So the grass is over here. I'm just going to follow it. It's like a big S, sort of lazy S shape. No, it doesn't seem that long ago. What are we now? Beginning of November. It doesn't seem that long ago since the the fields and the meadows were full of this long grass waving about in the breeze. And we in the UK this year we had a really nice summer. We we were very um, adept at having terrible, terrible summers in the UK. And uh, for many years, particularly whilst I was outdoors in the summer doing outdoor events for books or um, sometimes doing things like face painting that sort of thing the amount of times that I got rained off or winded off as in it was windy um, I can't tell you it was really annoying so um, to, to have a really lovely summer was extraordinary and by lovely, I mean it was um, it was warm, it was sunny. We had a couple of weeks maybe spread out where it was too hot and it was difficult for me to work down in the studio. But generally speaking, from really from when we had lockdown, so that was uh, mid-March through to uh, the end of September, we had just really nice long days of daylight and um, sunshine it was beautiful so and it doesn't seem that long ago since that was happening so like I said it was you know September really it was only eight weeks ago wasn't it uh, even less than that and we were still having warm days but now this well this morning this the, the um, sky's blue there's a little bit of cloud out there but it's windy and it's been cold cold Okay, right. JV and Nicole, you've gone for purple and pink. So, who do we have? Pink or purple? And I'm just going to give those guys just a few little dots. I'm going to go inside the 
circles but I'm also going to go crazy and go outside put some up like this because this picture this um, particular flower is kind of the centerpiece of the picture so I'm gonna let its pollen do its thing and float about in the air so I think that's quite pretty Okay, I'm going to see if I've got a darker purple as well. Let's have a look. I shall show you the inside of my pencil case. Uh, let's have a look. I'm sure I've got... There he is. Dark purple. I'm just going to put a few little smishy smashy bits of dark purple in there like that. Okay, so what do you guys want me to draw over the weekend? <clears throat> and I'm going to also put down the bottom where I've got this grass I'm going to add a few more bits oh that's better isn't it Can you see that a bit better now? Oh, there we go. Live and learn, eh? Yes, Nicole, I am going to draw a squirrel, actually. I think I will, I'm going to do trees and squirrels. And then I've got one more day to fill. So you decide. As long as it's not something... Well, okay, I'm going to put my foot down and say... Not spiders, not something really drizzly, and not monkeys. Because as I said yesterday, do you know the funny thing is, even though you think, well, surely if you can draw people, just add a little bit of hairiness and you've got a monkey. But it's something to do with the way their faces are. I just really cannot get to grips with drawing monkeys and apes and stuff. Very apist, I know. There we go. So hopefully you can... Is, it, is the picture coming up really dark as well? Yeah, the... Because on my little screen, I'm looking a bit dark, but I'm hoping that you can see it a bit better, despite the fact that I've got my massive studio light pointing directly at it. I think I might need to fiddle about with the setting, settings a bit. But there you go, there's the picture. I think this is kind of finished, maybe, do you reckon? It would be nice, actually, to put a few little spots of glitter up there. But, um, so I might do that at some point. But this is the sort of thing, it's so easy, honestly. Even if you've never done something like this before, if you just did that, that, that um, flower with these little circles coming out the top uh, for a birthday card for somebody, if you can't, if you're stuck in like we are at the moment, you can't get out to the shops, doing, a, doing um, a, a birthday card or something, you could do a Christmassy version, just do red and green, then that will give you something to do, keep your mind off of your troubles and have a unique birthday card or greetings card for somebody. So, what a fab idea. Good, okay. So, I'm going to go away and have a think about what I'm going to do for Sunday. Saturday, I'm definitely going to do squirrels in trees. Um, and, yeah, let me know what you think uh, I could do for Sunday. And Sunday, I'm going to be here at three o'clock so um that would be in this in america that's going to be five hours earlier so sort of 10 ish and for you nicole i guess that's going to be the middle of the night so <laughs> you'll have to watch the the playback i think unless you're really determined and are gonna you know stick around 
have a um, go over later on to, to my website julesmarinerbooks.com because I'm going to upload I'm going to put a, um, uh, a link in there for you to be able to uh, download both the doggy picture from yesterday this one and the two from the weekend I'm going to set up a series of uh, emails where I can email you the links so that you can download these and um, copy them or um, use them for a bit of inspiration I'll show you the one that I did earlier in the year which I took this is kind of where I took the inspiration from so these this one is a bit more bluish uh, and uh, I think I might have blended them a bit, in fact I definitely did, because if you look at these lines here, I think I've gone over that with some water. So it doesn't take very long, and it just honestly, it really does just give your mind something else to think about. So I'm going to sign off for today, thank you so much for joining, and um, uh, hi Ice Lolly Land, thank you very much for saying it's not too dark, that's great to hear. And I'm thinking about, yes, two of you said maybe a bird for Sunday. That sounds good. I like birdies. So, uh, yeah, I might do that. <laughs> Have a brilliant day, uh, whatever you're doing. And uh, I'll catch you over the weekend. See ya!